Hello, my name's Jen. Today I'm going to be exploring a portion of scripture from Deuteronomy called Re'e with you. And I'll be cooking something perhaps a little unexpected. This portion Re'e is in Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 26 to chapter 16, verse 17. Moses is partway through making a fairly long speech, 36 days to be exact, to the Israelites just before going into the promised land. He's reminding them of God's loving instructions for how to live in this new land. I'm a mum to four awesome kiddos, and sometimes when we're going somewhere, I'll say to my kids before we go in, hey, don't forget to do this or that. Maybe your mum did the same to you, or maybe you do the same to your kiddos. Here we see Moses is reminding the Israelites. He's preparing them like a mum reminds her children. Let's read Deuteronomy eleven twenty six. See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing, if you listen to the command of the Lord your God, that I'm giving to you today. And the curse, if you don't listen to the command of the Lord your God, but turn aside from the way I'm ordering you today. It says that the Israelites have a choice. It says that if they follow these instructions that Moses is giving them, they will be blessed. If they choose not to follow God's loving instructions, they will be cursed. In Matthew 24, 12, Jesus said, at the end of the age, the love of many will grow cold. How will it grow cold? There'll be lawlessness, which is Torahlessness in the world. Matthew 24, 12, and many people's love will grow cold because of increased distance. From Torah. God's Word, our Bible, is not just full of historical stories. It is alive, totally unique. It is God's power and presence. If we choose to follow it, it will bring blessing on us as individuals, as families, as communities, and as a nation. That is, if we are living for the Lord and obeying his commands. So let's not let our love for God and his word grow cold. We are getting closer to Messiah's return and we should live as if he's coming back today. I wanna pray with you right now, wherever you are, whether you have grown cold because of distance from God's word or maybe not understanding it, wherever you are right now, why don't you pray with me? Lord, you are the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Just as you did for the disciples in Luke chapter 24, open our minds to understand your word. Help us to not let our love grow cold for you and your words. Bless you, Lord. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. I'm going to teach you to cook something over a fire today. Just like our relationship with Jesus and his word needs to be hot, not grown cold. I'm going to be cooking over some hot coals. So the first thing we need is a fire.
Okay, so we've got our fire started. You will need bananas, chocolate, and da -da -da -da, marshmallows. First, we take the banana and we look for the inside curve. Take a small sharp knife and cut a elongated leaf shape in the very top of your banana, just cutting through the peel there. So peel that off, but don't throw that away. Then take a spoon and scoop a little bit of the banana flesh out. Scooping that out. Kind of like you're hollowing out a canoe. Leaf shape in the top of your banana. That's it. Peel that up. Great. Okay, keep that skin. Now you're going to scoop out, not all, but some of the banana. Now take some marshmallows and stuff them inside your banana. You might need to break some in half to get them to fit nicely. Put some chocolate on top of your marshmallows. You have to break it up small. Replace the skin on top. And now we're going to wrap the banana in aluminum foil. Make sure that you've got it sitting upright. And seal the aluminum foil at the top of your banana. Here's my banana stuffed with marshmallows and chocolate covered in foil and we're going to put it in the coals for about five minutes. It is so hot and I just want to ask you and challenge you today, how hot is your relationship with God and his word and what can you do to heat that up? move away. Okay, these coals are ready. They are super hot. I can't tell you how hot this fire is right now. It's very, very hot. So I'm going to put my banana in the coals, making sure I keep it upright. There we go. One banana in the coals. I think mine's done. So let's look inside. Ooh, mine's like it's stripy. Mine's are like really God's instructions are sweeter than bananas in the fire with marshmallows and chocolate. 
Do you need some more? <laughs>